I think what they said was when the House votes to impeach, which is like an indictment, really, that you need a witness in a trial. And I think my sense is that they would be appalled. We wanted uh, people to know that there were those citizens who are interested in history, but more than that, understand this is a really important historical moment. Why not trust the American people with this decision? Why tear up their ballots? You can't do that. You know you can't do that. I do think that's a fallacious argument. I don't buy that argument because in this case, for example, which is a good example, if Donald Trump were removed from office, Vice President Mike Pence would take on the oath of office and enter the White House. It's still, it's not an overturned election at all. It's just a passing of power because somebody was proven to be a rogue or in some way or a rascal. One of the things that's on trial, in addition to, of course, a person who seems to have either broken the law or, or disobeyed the oath of office, you also have on trial the system of government. And one of the things people are seeing is, does the government work? What happened to the system of government? How has it worked in the past? And they looked at that in 1868. We said, an impeachment? We've never had an impeachment. We never had a civil war. We never had a, an assassinated president. Can you imagine what it was like then? You think it's bad now? Johnson did do, try to hinder laws that were, that, that gave people, especially the four million, uh, formerly enslaved, um, gave them citizenship, civil rights, you know, just for starters, never mind political rights. So Congress didn't want to impeach him right away. And I think that's a parallel with today because Speaker Pelosi did not want to impeach Donald Trump. When he finally went so far that they could not, they, they had to impeach him. I think there's a parallel today because there was a sense in which we're not talking about Donald Trump's policies, we're talking about a, a, a violation uh, or an abuse of power and use of the executive office for one's own personal benefit, you have to stop that.